merits and the merits of multiple session hair transplantation. In case of advanced form of hair loss, some people opt for multiple sessions of hair transplant, which has come up with certain advantages. With multiple sessions, the surgeon can easily cover the scalp with greater satisfaction. Thus, the outcomes will be sufficiently good. There will be no pressure on the surgeon or patient as the scalp will be covered in multiple sessions. There will be much improvement in the density of hair, as the surgeon will work with more concentration on hair loss fixing. In spite of so many advantages, patients have to face certain disadvantages of multiple sessions of hair transplant. Due to multiple sessions, there is a possibility that the other surgeon will overuse the donor area until its diminishing point. This can lead to scarce available of donor hair for the next session. Less availability of donor hair will lead to reduced density. Major drawback with multiple sessions is that it mostly focuses on increasing the density of hair. However, there is an equal risk of decreased blood flow in the area with increasing density. Sometimes, grafts can survive the time when they are out of body. There is a possibility that they will dry out thus leading to hair transplant disasters. Multiple sessions will require much experienced surgeon and a team of staff members to support him. Keeping in mind all the aforementioned merits and demerits, you should consult your doctor first that whether you should go for single session or multiple sessions transplantation. Moreover, you should always choose your hair transplant surgeon carefully. Subscribe us to No More Hair Growth Treatments and Tips.